My name is Kim Schoenstatt, and I'm a participating artist in the Rogue Wave exhibition at LA Louvre Gallery, and uh, you're in my studio in Venice, California. I wasn't always into architecture. I grew up in Chicago, and so in downtown Chicago, you're bombarded with architecture, and it's a fairly important part of an everyday life. I really started getting into it when I was invited to a Biennale, and I wrote the organizers of the Biennale, and I just said, send me pictures of things you find interesting. And it was all architecture. And I really enjoyed digging and finding out the stories behind the buildings that became very interesting and very generative um, creatively. The projects that I've done for LA Louvre Gallery uh, for this exhibition are the first major solo, independently my works in LA. Uh, so this is really the first big hometown piece that I get to do. I'd always been interested in the LA Louvre building because I think that the scale and the proportions are really well done. And I like the way that the window treatments are, they're, they're specific views to things. And so I had the opportunity to meet Fred Fisher, who's the architect for the LA Louvre space. And we really started sort of exploring some of his unrealized projects. That was a very interesting starting point for me because I'm violating his space, right? I'm, I'm actually painting over his architecture. And it, it was sort of important for me to include some of his pieces in my research because it was his space and I'm manipulating his space and I wanted to include other projects of his. The piece on the Skyrim for me was a good opportunity to stretch my wings a little bit and go in a direction that I hadn't gone before. For an all LA exhibition, all of a sudden my source material really kind of blew up and I had all of these choices to make. And one of the ideas that I've been playing with was what happens if all of this proposed architecture that was never built actually existed. So I decided to really start digging into all of these unrealized projects that had happened for LA. What if that parallel LA actually existed, where there was a Rem Cool House canal house, or this Neutra building that looks like a boat, or Fred Fisher's house with a complete void in the middle of the house? I just sort of really got interested in exploring those options. The exciting thing for me was that I got to do a large exterior work as well as a pretty groundbreaking work on the interior. And that involved a three-dimensional aspect and it also involved uh, the first piece where I really came off the wall. Another part of the research that I've been doing lately is that I look into what has been exhibited in the spaces before. and so. I'd been kind of obsessed with the Soloit Incomplete Open Cubes. I like this concept of the sculptural form and the architectural form interrupting each other. That they're both dealing with space and mass and the human scale. And then what happens when you break them back down into line and then you get to intersect those lines. Of course I changed the colors, but that is the inspiration for it. For each project I do, I try and push it. While my subject matter obsession <laughs> carries through, I always try and find different solutions.